quick recap of what I'm doing. As you can see, this is the pattern, as you see, which kind of matches up with a quick outline so you can see it. With the template, you'll see that. It's pretty simple. The sides get done first. You wrap this around the edge. You tuck the top down and under. Like so. And the top comes up and around. Like so. Now, main differences between the top and the bottom is I made the bottom where you can see the dice a little better. They were faded on the originals. I mean, they were originally faded. Change that around. Now for the cardboard, and I'm using a 14 ply board, I created a quarter size which can be easily printed off of any printer. Place, copy, trace, copy, trace, and each is I labeled this one bottom so it's clear, and when you're doing the top, I made sure it says top, so that's also new. Pretty easy stuff. Same, same. All right, now for the top I have here, I did end up using a scotch tape to hold the corners initially, as I will put uh, Elmer's glue or the like uh, paper wrapped around the edge and let it dry and set overnight. I'll probably reinforce the corners by dripping glue into the corner to make sure it sticks. Now, you don't want to fold it necessarily before you get it fitted, but I did to make sure that the top and bottom work, considering this is the first time I've done this, and to make sure that the template I'm making actually works. And there's a little bit of fudge factor with that little bit of lip, so it can be stretched around a little more. And like I said, this is going to be a, a slight bit larger than the original, but that actually kind of looks a lot cleaner. And, uh, yeah, thanks.